Thank you for the services you can charge me. I will charge oh, you. I know. <laughs> Action. Action. Please oh. smile, please. Big smile. And we fake it till we make it. <laughs> Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Ejam Ejavid Fogi. Today's topic is about uh, home improvement and uh, for most of us uh, that are uh, real estate agents, uh, this is about uh, increasing our home value so that we can sell it uh, during, when we are selling your home, we can get it for the most price possible. And so, but we need to go back a little. So as owners or people who own investment houses or investment properties, how do you think about improving uh, your home while you're living in it? Well, there are ways to do this. Um, so one, um, one of the things that actually, here's the thing, like, so there are lots and lots of ways to actually, when you go in there and do a little search on ways to, so people are a little confused these days about you know, where to start on home improvements because there are tons and tons of channels out there or even like uh, shows on TVs on how to get your home, imp you know, improvements and channels on flips and deals and tons and tons of in like information on buy and sell and flip your house or remodel your home to this price, that price, whatever. But I mean, in the end of the day, none of them really applies to you, right? Or your home or your personality or the way that your home is set up or your budget or where your house is laid out, where your house is at or where your market is at or when you're going to sell your house. And when you do sell your home, who else are you going to compete against? So none of these 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 shows show none of these right so what you need to think about is maybe start small so maybe starting small is something that you can do um maybe just a one of the things that maybe just just the easiest and the cheapest thing that you, things that you can do is just a um maybe give it a little fresh coat of paint and if you are a handy person you can just get in there and paint it yourself i mean like I, what I mean is like the inside and that's something that it's cheap for you to do. You can get a lot for your, for your investment. It's nice. You can get a lot of good looking house and hopefully, I mean, this is something that you can do over and over again a few times and you can also do it right before you sell it. And so again, fresh coat of paint right before you sell it. It's always nice. And, but one of the things that you need to be careful about is uh, you need to be careful about, you know, what kind of sheen you use. You know, there's ways, sheens that are uh, matte or ways like semi-matte, I mean, it's semi-gloss, matte, like gloss. And I mean, they're just different uh, types of sheen. And it goes from like some of them we use in the bathroom, some of them we use in like the other place that are not dry. And it's just the ways of like using this um, application and just to make sure that you just make sure that you use it for the right location. Um, it's just, but you can also hire a professional to just to do it, like come in and spray it. That's just one way. And another way of doing it, the second thing to do is you can paint the outside of the house. That also gets a lot of attention and a lot of good, better looking. But if you're going to do that, typically hire a professional, paying somebody always helps. Uh, because they know their materials, they know their timing, they know if something needs to be pressure washed, they know how to do it. But if you are going to do it yourself, just make sure that your um, material, out, outside material, is you don't go in there and start pressure washing everything that you can think you think you can pressure wash. Ask a professional if you can or not, because some materials you do start pressure washing, washing it, and it they just disappear. So ask someone before you start that project. But um, I mean, that's something that you can always do. 
Another thing is that adds a lot of value is uh, a, your a garage door replacement. Uh, this is something that uh, you can again, you know, look at, you know, what's around your neighborhood, um, uh, look at some options, uh, call a professional and uh, get some ideas from them. Look at, check. well, uh, of course, consider your budget, but you know, if you can fix it, you can fix it or uh, fix your garage. Uh, garage door obviously but you know if you you can replace it obviously if it's broken or needs a little update you can always update it get a little you know a gorgeous little garage door that's always adds a lot of value that another uh, thing that adds a lot of value is um, uh, kitchen designs uh, but what I'm talking about is uh, here is like a small kitchen design a small kitchen design uh, this uh, what I mean is we're just changing like a small, doing like a small remodel, meaning appliances, changing the appliances, changing some small, you know, like the things in the kitchen while changing the, well, what we're doing here is uh, very changing, uh, change, doing like a small kitchen remodel, changing the appliances, uh, maybe cabinets and countertops and very little uh, paint and right, uh, light remodel. And this adds a lot of value, that is true. Uh, but um, a lot of people tell you like, oh my gosh, you know, it's like you, you will get your money back. Well, this generally is really not that true. Uh, you don't necessarily get your like 100% dollars back when you are selling your home. But what you will get is, um, the, the sellability of factor of it that you will be able to um, like when you do put your house in the market uh, it's more you know presentable but so so coming you know be, so we need to be careful when we are doing big remodels like that what I mean is you need to be careful about how much money you're putting in right so what I mean again is you always like first things first, start, of course, you're going to watch these shows and everything and get all excited. Like, oh my gosh, I can do this remodel. Look what they're doing. You know, they're doing it for like $20,000. I can do it for 20. Well, there is no $20,000 kitchen remodel in this like anywhere. So th they're definitely telling you a bunch of lies. But the, the thing is that it's all about how much do, do you need to add that much value in it? Well, maybe or maybe not what you how you can do it is that you know maybe like you need to call just a professional and what you need to do is first how, when are you going to sell your home that's what you need to first think about how soon are you going to sell your home if you're thinking about selling your house you are you need to think about you know are you going to sell your house really soon and or are you going to sell your house and then 50 years later right so but again, it's, it's about like when, what kind of finishes are you going to put into this, uh, as, uh, in this house to finish it off, right? And also, if you are you know, thinking about selling it for you know, in the next five years, 10 years, then maybe you, what you need to look at is comps, right? Then just look at the comps and look at what's outside of your door and what's in your neighborhood and maybe you call a professional call someone who's an agent call someone who is an interior designer call someone who's actually in the industry who actually does this for a living and have them look at, into um, like what's trendy and what's also sells in that particular neighborhood that is just like your home and therefore well the thing is you shouldn't spend you shouldn't spend more than what your neighbor spends right and because when you are actually selling your home, you don't want to like you don't want to be the person who actually like just gold plated your home, just like insane amount of put these beautiful finishes in your home. But because it's your that's what you want, what you want to have in your home, but but you can't sell it because it's your style. It's too much of your style. And that's part of the problem. And when we are selling some of the houses, when we're listing it, it's because when we, our clients, do, they, they do these remodels and kitchen and bathroom remodels, 
right before they listed and they look gorgeous for them, but none of my buyers want it. And because they almost, you know, every time we walk into it, they say, oh, I wish that they actually didn't touch any of that because I would do it on, with my own, you know, I would put my own style into it. So again, just be careful getting into kitchen and bathroom design. Call a professional if you need to before you get into it. That's my advice. What's next? A couple of more item. Well, a couple of more items that usually are uh, needs to be updated around the house are windows and floors that are big ticketed items, right? And again, be careful with these because and do your research uh, before you spend a lot of money and look at the comps and look at what everybody else is spending around you. Uh, look at what all the like sold properties are around you and the, just look at your neighborhood. Dig up, just look at, you know, go look at some open houses and dig up some, you know, like just do a little research and just get in there, do a little research and go to some open houses. Again, do your research before you spend a ton of money because you don't want to be the person who spends a ton, a lot more than what your neighbor, neighbor, neighbor spends. And then in the end, you cannot, you know, sell your, you can sell your home, but you cannot get your money back because your house will not sell more than what it's value, what, what it's worth. And so in the end, be careful and just consult a professional. Uh, who is a real estate agent, who is an interior designer or an architect who does this for a living. And um, I don't forget to, you know, to call a professional real estate, it could be a real estate agent, architect, interior designer, which one of those, um, uh, just someone who's in the business and is doing this for a living, who can give you some ideas. And I mean, today is, is all about improve, improving the, the value of your home. And, but it's about you doing it yourself. And, but, but, um, but it's also, it's, it's also about just adding a lot of value in your, in your property. And the idea is to, you know, you can sell it, I mean, right away, or, you know, this could be a flip, or this could be something that you've been living in it for a while. And, or this could be something that you do for a living. You can, this could be a flip. It could be something that, you know, you're living in it for uh, a while, for a long time that you just need a little refresher, or it's something that you're, it could be a house that you're actually getting ready to sell. Uh, it's just ideas about home improvement. Uh, if it helps, if any of these things are any helpful, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, and please, uh, again, this is Ejam Ejavit Pogi. And please do not forget to uh, subscribe, like, or um, follow my channel. And uh, again, uh, uh, I'm gonna be here uh, with another talk uh, next uh, next week. And please feel free to um, ask me any questions that you have, uh, and free to comment. Uh, almost always, I am always here to answer any questions that you have. And until then, um, see you next time.